temperamental little liar. And that is exactly what we have today in Sarah Boone. Sarah and Ori Torres were in a relationship together. And Sarah was married prior to this and her husband was like, I can't do this. Something is wrong up there. I gotta go. So they get divorced, not working out. And then she ends up dating him. Their relationship is very, very, very tumultuous, okay? It's abusive. His family didn't like her. They were constantly calling the cops. They were drinking all the time. But Sarah had made Jorge horribly dependent on her, horribly. Financially, he couldn't work, he wasn't able to make much money, she was paying for the rent, she was giving him a roof to stand her, and in fact, when he couldn't pay his cell phone bill, she said, oh, don't worry, you can just use my cell phone. Nice, made it, just kind of lured him in, and then she became very controlling, wanting to know everyone he was talking to, trying to separate him from his family, feeling like she wasn't getting enough attention, and just driving a wedge between him and everyone that he loves, and what do we call that? Abuse. In relationship that's happening to you get out they were constantly getting into arguments and one night sarah convinced him to crawl into a suitcase and she zipped up the suitcase and she called it fun she sat there and she literally recorded him gasping for air and asking for her help and then she fell asleep and left him in the suitcase and the next morning sarah called the police saying there was an accident we were playing she was frantic, she was aggressive, but the one thing that she was above all was she was forgetful because she had forgotten that she recorded the video that night. And the investigators, they took her phone and they arrived and they got the video off of her phone. She was so drunk, she doesn't remember. So in this interrogation, we end up seeing her get crazy, defensive, angry. She's got a lot of anger problems. And then the investigators do the big push to say, do you remember recording this video? And she is stunned when she sees it. Let's start when she first gets into the interrogation room. So this morning we went to his autopsy um, and we were informed of some injuries that he has uh, by the doctor. So I want her. Um, so he's got Where? <coughs> scratch marks to his back. I know what that's from. Okay. And, um. Oh, I know what that's from. Ready to take some accountability, but not all. These people will do this so often. They'll take accountability for all the small lies to try to seem upright, truthful, and honest. But the big one? Whoa, what are you talking about? I've been so honest about everything up until this point. But if I did do that, I would admit to that too. It's called a contusion. Do you know what a contusion is? Mm. So like basically you're getting hit and then, you know, you, you, you get a mark from it. You'll get bruising. Like some, okay. someone hit you or something like mm -hmm. that. It's called a, a contusion. So he had some injuries to his left shoulder. Um, he had um, he had a cut near his like lip. We could see mm. we could see his um, his mouth was a little. Uh, I haven't laid a hand on him. Okay. Nobody I, said that. <coughs> also, too, I he fell off my son's bike. Okay. So I don't know. And he's notorious for running into the wall or the hall tree. Okay, wall. I want you guys to listen for this throughout this interrogation. The killer will often throw the victim under the bus in several ways. They'll try to paint them as a bad person. And I think sometimes they're trying to throw investigators off, but they're also trying to put it into their brain that they were bad. They were silly. They weren't very smart. They did this to themselves. That's kind of what they're trying to do. I don't, what about the scratches? Because uh, there's also sex. Yes. Okay. Because there's also like a <laughs> like a scratch on like the back of his neck, like kind of like going, but it's like going straight across. I have no idea what that's from. <clears throat> and they're all recent. Like they 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 occurred recently. It wasn't something that occurred post or that occurred a week ago or two days ago, three days ago. Not they two days ago. Occurred, last night. You know, the night leading up to when he was. In all honesty, all honesty. We have not gotten into it. Okay. That's why, like, the only thing I thought you guys were going to ask me about, which I was going to be honest with you anyway, are the scratch marks on his back. I'm going to mm -hmm. be so honest. Everything else, I have no idea what it is. No okay. idea what it is. Nonetheless, I've had my son over at the house, too, so... I... Well, your son was there when? When was he last there? Oh, gosh. Last last my week? understanding, he was there, like, last Tuesday? Last... I don't know if it was Tuesday... <coughs> 
But yes, he was there last week, so. Well, we're talking about Sunday. Yeah. We're, make, we're just talking about what occurred Sunday. Because like I said, the injuries are, they occurred within that time period. So you're talking about day before yesterday. Sunday leading into Monday. You but called us yesterday at 1, so, but the incident you guys were painting and stuff the night prior. Correct. So we're talking about Sunday and That's then into why Monday. I'm thoroughly confused because <coughs> we had a I'm good so time confused. sitting on the back porch having wine and smoking a couple of cigarettes and then decided to go inside and literally paint, do puzzles, and play. It's so comical and disgusting how Sarah tries to paint the relationship as so innocent. Oh, we went out to have a few glasses of wine, like normal adults that listen to jazz. Like that's the vibe she's trying to get off. We had some cigarettes. We were going inside to paint and just play. That's just what we do. We're, we're so innocent. No, these people were having all out fights while she was downing a bottle every night. Okay, sorry. I'm gonna go a little body language on you guys for a second. This posture, she's trying to portray it as as, oh, whoa, I'm telling the truth. I'm telling the truth. Hands are up. This is more like, whoa, put your guns down. Whoa, stop this. When we're like telling the truth, this isn't really the posture we go to. This is a, I'm trying to block you because you're so aggressive. And then she shifts into this one, which is like, what do you want? I don't have anything. You don't have anything because you did it, because you killed them. You don't have any other tools. So that's kind of, I think, why we see this sometimes. Nobody got out of sorts. Then she goes like that. Like then she goes, this. Mind blowing to me. Like I don't, okay. I have no clue. Nobody laid a hand on anybody. He also had, um, like on the left side Sorry, of his forehead, moving, guys. he had basically bruising, um, and on, um, on um, like his head and his skull. I have no idea. As if something hit him. I consider have not for touched him. Trauma. I have not touched him. <clears throat> I have not touched him. She's being honest there because she knows that the worst thing that she did was she, the way she killed him, she she didn't really physically touch him. So she's trying to be really confident with this. How would you get those injuries? Tell me and we'll both know. I have not touched him. Yesterday when we took photographs of your overall body um, and they did the buccal swabs, did they go under your fingernails? No. <gasps> okay. Are you willing to let us Absolutely. swab underneath your fingernails? Go for it. Okay. <laughs> I have no idea, and I don't. And then she's gonna change her mind work, later when they go to do it. I have no idea. We had a good day. Mm -hmm. It was a good day. We've had good days lately, mm -hmm. even considering everything that's going on with our jobs and life in general and ex-wives and everything. It's been good. Like I don't even know where this is coming from. <laughs> yeah, I don't even the know. The last physical was probably you said I think what a month ago, Maybe. where you got the. Injury, right? You said that was a I'll month ago? a few weeks, give or take, yeah. A few weeks? That was the last, like, physical altercation between the two of you? Um, yeah, you said a month ago you hit you with a curtain rod. Yeah, with a curtain rod. That's why I can't believe you guys didn't take that either. <laughs> Why is she talking? Why not just get a lawyer? Because people like this are so dumb. Like we've been good and he's been having his classes mm -hmm. and his He's been having his classes, officer, throwing him under the bus again, his probation so, officer. What do you mean by good? What's your definition of good? The probation mean, officer? Oh no, you said you guys have been good. What's your definition I've of good? I've been good. I don't yeah. think you all understand. He comes at me all the time. He comes at me. I told you so she was gonna do this, bro. Flee or try to go upstairs and go to sleep. That's usually what it is. And I don't know if you talk to Brian about any of that, but most of the time when I sleep, I go over there. So. Right, but you're saying that you guys have been good, and when I asked you yesterday, there has been, the last incident that you could remember was the curtain rod incident, which you said was a month ago, so. Give or take. Right, so what do you mean by he comes after you? Like, he gets belligerently drunk. Mm -hmm. Like. I don't know if y'all have looked through my phone yet. <clears throat> How many times has Sarah thrown him under the bus in the past 45 seconds? When the heat is on her, she picks him up and throws him right under the bus. See many of the pictures and the videos that I have taken. Mm -hmm. And the at one point, I started documenting everything. Okay. So you all will see in my pictures, bloody fingers, split foreheads, he split my nose. I've got this, Right. I don't know, Brian told you about it, where I had to have almost what? I had one really bad surgery, but then it got really, 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 really bad where I had to go like 
four or five more times afterwards for them to tend to it, mm -hmm. from him poking me in the back of the leg. Right. So it's... Then why are you still with him? Everybody asks me that. When I tell you guys this... Oh, so he says, so why are you still with him? And she sees it as an opportunity to be the victim. Cue the waterworks and scene, Sarah. I really love him. <laughs> like I do. And I feel like I can help him. Like I feel <coughs> like I could help him, which I did because he's come a really, he came a really long way from where he was in Philadelphia to moving back to here and to dealing with everything else that he's, he's been He's come with. a long way. I've really helped him. He's come I've a long way. He's, he's dead, Sarah. The man has passed away. He's come a long way because of me. Before me, oh, he was headed nowhere. And then unfortunately, he's now died. But oh my God, the <laughs> delusion. i jail, what, three times. I've gone to every Twilight hearing, Twilight every do, 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 do. everything that I did for him. Gone to see all his public defenders. <gasps> go to the state. I've gone to the state. I, I did everything for him because I'm trying to help him. Because I had, I had hope in him. And he was trying. And then he starts to think about things, and it just, I think he gets overwhelmed, and then it's like, no, that's next you. thing you know, he's drinking. So it's like, that's oh, you. man, I know where this is going to go, so I'm going to go upstairs and read a book, or I'm going to go for a bike ride, or I'm going to do something else. Where I don't want to drink. I don't want to drink. The occasional wine, whatever, or if it's a weekend. She okay. sounds like she's trying to talk to her AA counselor, trying to explain why she relapsed again. <laughs> the time. You don't have to wake up the next day. I have to wake up the next day and do things. I have to tend to Lucas. I have to take him to school. I have all this stuff to do. He doesn't know how to, I guess, maintain himself where I can do 50 things at once and still know the 50 things more previously she really prior that I need to get done. Up. He can't process like that. He didn't process like that. So it, he would literally, not literally, but have smoke coming out of his ears. So the next thing you know, he doesn't want to deal with it, I'm going to go get something to drink. So the majority of the time, I would hang out outside or do something else because I don't want to drink. And every time, every time, his job broke his heart. And it made me sad because he had so much pride in his job. And the store that he took care of so much totally went downhill. Mm -hmm. And that broke his heart i think she's talking about him losing a job an abusive relationship can can make you lose your job in fact i think that's that's one of the first things to go if the person has enough power if they have the financial power or if they have they don't like that you have co-workers they don't like that you're taking time away from the house they don't they don't like that you have some financial independence a, an abuser they will sever that relationship they'll pick fights with you every night when you have to get up at 6 a.m they'll convince you to drink too much so that you're hungover at work the next day oh they will find a way his ex-wife is bonkers. Mm -hmm. She was all over him all the time. Send me money, send me money, send me money. How can I send you money when I don't have a job? And he's still trying to take care of me and Lucas by paying a bill here or there, getting some groceries. Did he have a job? So he always had something on his mind. Or was this which earlier? Is why, again, I got the puzzles and the bank to try to get him off of it so we don't have a drink or he doesn't have a drink. So when you all see my phone, you can see all of the damage he has done to me and the videos of him smashing my television because he's belligerently drunk. Where most of the time, I just don't want to be there. And I try to help him. I try to calm him down. Mm -hmm. Eventually, he just passes out. Well, yesterday, it made it sound like you guys were just drinking, like, a glass or two. Like, yeah, you obviously had the bottle, but you, I mean, you told me on the, yeah, but you told me on recording, like, that you were not drunk, he was not drunk, you guys were having I, a good time. I don't get, I can't get drunk. I, number one, I do not want to get drunk. I don't <laughs> like being non complimentous having my wits about myself. I don't like feeling out of control. Mm -hmm. So I'm just saying you're you're making it sound like like he's a raging alcoholic today and yesterday I was kind of asking you those questions and you're like a little defensive like you guys were both sober on Sunday to your knowledge because when I said you went and passed out Look you at were her like face. no like she's I didn't confused. pass out I just fell asleep so now it's kind of like what is it is it, were you guys drinking and it got out of hand and no. 
it got physical? No. Or is it? Sunday was one of the better <coughs> days that we have had in quite some time. He's dancing with my dog. You can see that too on We're the so pictures. We're so innocent. Him loving the dog. He loves the dog and dancing around, having a good time, and just, just being happy kind of thing. He doesn't know. I can't. I mean, I can get like maybe two, three glasses of wine. And I'll oh be fine. God. But I have she... to have my wits about myself because I don't know what to expect. What? Well, let's talk about Sunday. Oh. What was Sunday? How were you? Like, how many glasses of wine did you have? How many bottles so of wine did you have? The bottle was gone. The bottle was gone. I mean, I don't know if you poured any out. Yes. No, that was from previous. <laughs> you said that there was a half bottle left yeah, over. Yeah, about this much. Mm hmm And then um, that you had went, that, or well, I don't even know how the wine, how'd you guys get the wine for Sunday? I'm guessing he went to Publix. He's, does he well, do the, does he like leave the house and you stay home or do you go to Publix? Like, cause sometimes I knew I'll go with him. Okay. Did but you go with him Sunday to no. Publix? So most of the time what happens is because <laughs> the convenience store where we get cigarettes is here and then Publix literally is catting walk us to it. Okay. So what he'll do is he'll start, go by Publix, and then on the way back, catch the convenience store. Okay. So is that I, what he did Sunday? I, I'm guessing that's what he did because the next thing I know he's walking in with a bottle. I get the feeling that that man doesn't actively drink wine like that. I feel like the bottle's for her, but I could be wrong. You know, most dudes I know, they want to grab a, a 40 for $2 or a six-pack or something like that. They ain't just getting the bottle. Y'all know Sarah's over here like, let me get the 128 ounce barefoot. <laughs> Let me get the box. <laughs> I'm sorry. It was. But you said it was a good day. Like you guys didn't have any have any uh, conversations about your relationship. You guys didn't go down like the rabbit hole. Like had too many to drink, and you guys start I, getting. Nope. When I tell you this, it made me so happy that he actually listened to what I, I had to say. With just, we'll get through it. This will be fine. It's just, it's, it's a small hurdle that you and I together will get through because. I'm talking about the money, jobs, jobs. Oh my God, dude. Yes. I can't wait to see how the lawyer defends this. Yes. Nothing no. relationship wise though. Like no issues, relation, like did you guys have a conversation about your relationship or was it just about. Just like what's distressing? going on right now. Got it. I try to evoke it from him so he gets it off his chest because I call him the volcano where eventually he's going to erupt. Right. And what he has learned in his classes is to communicate, mm -hmm. which is a huge thing in a relationship right. where he has been practicing communication. So he actually talks to me about things mm -hmm. and unburdens himself. Put it on me. I'll sit there and try and figure it out for you. Like I have almost everything. Mm -hmm. Not a worry. Just tell me. Get it out what? of here. She's hating but on him was, so much. Can I tell you, I was so happy. Like, it was such a good day. I kid you not. The weather was beautiful outside. I'm the one that had him go inside so we can do puzzles and painting and listen to music or whatever else he wants to do. So then he starts doing whatever it is we're doing together in the living room and then starts talking because I think he gets comfortable with... Okay, you know what? We're here. It is a good day. Dude, also, can you imagine somebody kills you and then they go into the interrogation room and just start trashing you after death? Like, are you kidding me, bro? I'm here now, because I'm still trying to help him. Yeah, we just don't. I mean, it's unexplainable how he got these injuries, and I have no idea. You were the only one with him. A hundred percent right hand to God. <laughs> I have no idea how he got them. <laughs> Nobody touched anybody. Oh. Nobody touched anybody. Um, you had mentioned that you take, uh, you would take photos, videos. Oh my God! Like I need to general. put the dogs on. This point. is too but much was, for me. That was way before, I think, the last time that he got arrested, I need where to he was flying him. off the deep end. <clears throat> okay. But then, I had him bailed out. I got him out of jail. Right. But because we he go. had violated the pretrial diversion, they this time it's probation. So you don't have a choice in it. You have to go see. Dude, oh my God, please. Give me a one in chat every time she throws him under the bus. Like, it, look at the, It's no stop. Non-stop. He had violated the pretrial diversion. They, well, just, this time it's probation. Just give it so to you me. You don't have a choice in it. You have to go see your 
probation officer, you have to go to these classes. It's court ordered. Mm -hmm. Where it took him a while to get used to it and understand, they're not messing around. I even went down and met his uh, probation officer, which oh I said, I, she, she's wonderful. That's one of my questions that you need to talk to you about. <laughs> she's treating him like a little child. He needs to go to these court ordered appointments. Now, me and his probation officer, ugh, love her so much. She's so great. We've been taking care of him. And said how much she knows that I take care of him. She called me personally one time. She called me personally. Work, We're so close. 42-minute phone call. She and I just saying how grateful she is that George has me. Oh. And she knows how hard I'm working to help him, just as she is. Because and just she was as lying. The class she's well. lying now. So once he started actually going on a regular basis to the probation office. Okay, here's the other thing, too. I mean, it's just all just flying out of her mouth right now. You and I both know that, right? The reason that really drives that home is because Jorge is dead. <laughs> but those are the only times I have. So I have four and I have midnight. So there's a big gap. So I'm just curious, like, We're just if curious, you would call Sarah. when you went upstairs to hide in the shower or... Like when we started to play, hide mm -hmm. and seek. Yeah. Well, we went inside probably about... If I had to guess, we weren't, we weren't out there too long. Maybe about six ish then you're talking about from hanging out outside and like mm -hmm. okay well we have two beach chairs that are out there and right just mm -hmm. enjoy the weather gotcha. plus it started to get dark and gnats and mosquitoes yeah so let's go inside i don't want to be out here anymore okay all right let's go so we're doing whatever we did it for a while because that puzzle i don't know if, if they took it or they saw it um worked on the puzzle again finished it Started to paint. More well, asking started her. Started to music for a little bit. Started to paint. Uh, can we turn the music off? No problem. Started to talk, paint, whatever. Maybe, gosh, that puzzle. We worked on that for probably a good hour and a half. So, 8 o'clock-ish? Is when you went to hide upstairs originally? No, that's when we were, like, painting. So then it's like, okay, well, I, we can't, I don't want to paint anymore. Let's just, ugh, come on. Okay, you want to play hide and seek? What he does is, okay, tag, you're it. So it's like, okay, we know. What? Oh take, my take God, dude. And then he didn't come up and you came down. That's what she thinks. And the suitcase was there originally because you guys were planning to do donations. And so it was already suitcase. there. Um, have you guys ever played the, you said you played hide and seek like probably three times in your relationship. Mm -hmm. When you have played, have you ever zipped him up in a suitcase prior? No. Okay. So That's it was just kind of like that prop was there, and it was there, yes. and it was in Why is she getting laughed? Oh. How do you say it like that, though? I would <laughs> never do that. You would never do oh. that. <laughs> Sorry. Well, I, mean, I mean, we were playing. No, I know, but, time, I'm just, but I'm saying, I'm, well, I'm talking about hide and seek, which is a game, so. The suitcase originally <laughs> is in our closet, buried all the way to the back. If you, I don't, I know the CSI people saw our closet. Our closet needs to be cleaned out really bad. <laughs> My son's clothes need to be cleaned out really bad because Dude, they don't fit him anymore. I'm sorry. I'm I gotta hear that no again. No. Oh, it's okay. the, this yes. So That's, it was just kind of like that prop was there and it was there. Yes. <laughs> and it was inside. <laughs> I don't know. That's so <laughs> aggressive. No, we're just, I'm just asking yeah. out of the, in the past, like, have, have you ever zipped him up in anything, jokingly or not, but obviously no. I understand, you know, you're claiming that Sunday it was a joking matter. You were laughing, yes. he was laughing. But what I'm just asking is in the past, like, is it something Absolutely that you guys not. normally do? Absolutely not. Oh, my God. Okay. Um, we were actually this last game running out of places to hide because we have a townhome where it's upstairs or downstairs. So. Okay. Um... Okay, so do you remember the male detective checked his phone? He's like, Yeah, she's lying. I'm doing the night. <laughs> making any videos or maybe having any cover, anything, any t photos, videos that you remember doing on your phone on Sunday? No. <coughs> no. I um, think I took a picture of a dog. Okay. But your phone is password protected. You have the password oh my and God. the facial recognition. So it's not like someone else could be on your phone. No, I have both. But you have the face and the password. Yes. And yeah, but he only has the So face. she's securing that, oh, yeah, somebody else couldn't have taken this video. You can still take a video through iPhone, but she's just getting some more ducks in a row. Correct. No. 
to be able to get onto your phone. You told me that he looks at the phone. Oh, I misunderstood. I thought you were asking if I did. Yes, it's me. Okay. Does he have access to your phone? Because you said it's a yeah. phone. Okay. How does he have access? Sarah, can I buy your phone? Yeah, it's right there on the kitchen counter. Okay, oh, but how does he get this. into it? Cause it's I told you all so he He'll come and get it to me, and I'll just do the face thing. Where sometimes, too, like, he's, <coughs> look, he'll joke with me and say, okay, I need to borrow your phone. And he'll hold it while I'm cooking or doing something, do the facial recognition. Okay, so he doesn't know the password, and he doesn't have the facial recognition. Oh, my God, the no, computer's coming. Oh, my God. Use your phone, I'm yes. assuming. Other well, things. Lucas. Right. But Lucas wasn't there Sunday. Right. right. Um, so. Brace yourself. To your recollection, no videos on Sunday. Oh! Not that I'm aware of. Oh, she but really I, doesn't know. I, like, I guess <laughs> I, I maybe took a picture of them, the two of Tess and the dogs, and George and have them dancing, but I mean, or the, it's just Tess. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, so I have something that I want to show you that we found. Oh my God. Um, oh my God. And... Now, because I don't want you to get blue balled. She's going to pull out the laptop, and the laptop is starting to die. So what you're actually going to see is they're going to pull up the video, and then Sarah's going to kind of know that something's coming, and then they're going to have to go charge the laptop, and she's going to be in hell for a couple minutes. It was from your phone. Mm -hmm. Can you see it? Can you move it around? That's the video. That's him. No, I don't remember that. For everything you've done to me. <gasps> For everything you've done to me. Your battery's about to die. Shut it down. Oh, okay. The battery doesn't last very long. It used to last a lot longer than that. I don't know what happened. Oh my god, what is she gonna say in between this? I've, I've seen this part. I don't remember though. It's been a while. No, I was just simply asking because um, you had a, a look on your face when she asked you if you've ever done that before. You look kind of shocked and... No. Okay, but why did you say it like that? Like I don't think you all understand who I am. Where okay. Well, tell me. I mean, I've always been a straight-A student. I <laughs> am an outstanding mother to my son. Okay. I excel at everything. I... I would not do that. You wouldn't lock some, zip somebody in the... The you-know-me defense. Well, I didn't, like, completely lock it. I mean, I opened it with one finger. I left enough in there for him to get out. Okay. And I wasn't planning on going upstairs and going to sleep. I could open that suitcase with one finger. I left enough room for him to get out. He could have opened it with one finger if he wanted to. This is all his fault. It's basically what she's saying. No, it's just the way you said it. You guys you are scaring me. <laughs> Well, we just want you to watch this. It came from your phone. Don't you want to know what's on it? Yes, please. <coughs> Don't you want to know what's on the phone, Sarah? Dude, she is such a bitch. What, what, a, somebody in chat said it best. Somebody, I saw somebody say, ha, 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 what a loser. That's exactly long? the type of response I'm trying to have in this channel. Mm -hmm. no. She said, how long is it? I don't know how much I can take. Trust me, girl, there's a lot more coming. Jail time, you gonna meet some new friends in there. Real nasty food. Court time, a bunch of attorneys you don't like. Oh, there's so much more coming, Sarah. Do I have to watch this? Yeah, you do. Yes, Sarah. I continuously throw up. I don't sleep. I don't want to see it, if that's okay. Nope. <clears throat> well, it's on your phone. She and just you can either explain it or we take it for take, what it is. Yep. Yeah. We're just trying to give you the opportunity to tell us what's going on. That's it. Wow, a nice little bit of manipulation by the officers. We'll take this video at face value. She knows what it is. Or you can explain yourself. And Sarah will always always take the opportunity to manipulate you and explain her side of the story. It's that long? Two minutes. <laughs> For everything you've done to me. <coughs> For everything you've done to me. Oh. You. Oh. That's you, oh. your voice. Some of you guys haven't heard the the actual audio of this. He is calling her name, the one person there that can help, and sh her response is, that's my name, don't wear it out. Last time we talked to you, you said that you put him in the suitcase, he had two fingers hanging out, and you I went flipped him over. I flipped him over, and that's where it was. There's 
two different Funny. videos and a still picture where, yeah, it shows you flipping him in different positions and him saying that he can't breathe and you saying fuck So this is upside down. So in order for him to have gotten into it, oh it was flipped God. up. Right. It was flipped up normal. Yeah. Like as if you're packing something. So this is upside down. Guys, this is killing me right now. So this image. Almost like she kicked it. She said she flipped it over, but I could totally see her because she she loves kicking him when he's down. And in this case, he is literally down in the suitcase, defenseless. And then this small video that occurred 11 minutes later, it's flipped over the other way, closer to your dining room table. Okay. Now he's obviously still in there. So he didn't, how did that, how did it go from the back to the front? I flipped it. Okay. My plan was not to go upstairs and go to sleep. <laughs> oh. Well, that's what you did. Yeah. But not intentional, though. Oh. No, you told me you went upstairs. Oh. Went. oh. My favorite one. That wasn't my intention. Well, I'm sorry you took it that way. I'm sorry that happened, but that wasn't my intention. That's not what I meant to happen. My intention trumps all effects. You shouldn't feel sad right now because I didn't mean to make you feel sad. I just meant to tell you how I felt. You shouldn't feel that way. Oh, oh. <laughs> you were Stop getting here. ready for bed. Stop here. Okay, but here? show me where you can see any fingers coming out. Because there's it's, the end. It's And his head's right here. Mm -hmm. So going like this, rather than going all the way up, it's like this. But why is he saying I can't breathe and why is he pushing on it as if he can't get out? And it doesn't it's, show a hole. You, there's, there's no, no hole. There's no fingers. I don't see his fingers. There's no hole. I don't know what you want me to tell you. Like, I don't know, like, what you want me to tell you. I'm just mm -hmm. showing you. I'm just telling you what we see yeah. and what we've heard from the other I video. I understand. I understand. He's begging to let, for you to let him out. You <laughs> sound, you're laughing in the beginning, and then in the end it sounds kind of like a, no, it's not malicious. <laughs> well, same. It's not malicious. Oh. Then what is that? Oh. Sorry. What is you mean to you? Sorry, she's such. Well, like if you were to, if I were to tell my partner. Oh, like partner, he does. Like I get called <laughs> everything but a white woman. So. Okay. I, my intention was not to leave him in there. Oh, my intention. Please understand that my intention was not to leave him in there. But you went upstairs thinking. I'm not that person. I may have done this. It might have happened. And it might have happened on my watch, in my house, at my hand, but that wasn't my intention. Sometimes these things just happen. Yeah. ...that he could get himself yes. out, but the video shows... That's why I told point you. ...and I see his fingers, and He'll it looks like... Minutes. She's so dumb, dude. And then 30 minutes later, he didn't show. And he's telling and you. And I he can't, can't wake up. He, Do you think he's joking? To you told me he was laughing, and I... We were, before. The video, there's, there's no laughing. When first got in there... Both of us were. So how long was he in there for? Like, this video is at 11, 12 when it starts, so was he in there for like a long time prior to no. recording this? No. No. So it goes from funny to no longer funny, But I you're the only one laughing. But I didn't think that he was, like, panicky. Like, I didn't, I... So pushing up on a suitcase saying, Sarah, 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 I can't breathe. I can't breathe. George has mm. done that in the past before, too, where it's just like he thinks that he's woe is me kind of thing, where it's like, I don't well, He's think. never been locked in a suitcase, but no, he couldn't get out. So it's kind of, I thought it was and the, you boy know the oxygen crawling wolf, thing. crying wolf kind of thing. Okay. And again, my plan. But, that, but nowhere in there is he laughing, is he joking? He is begging. Mm -hmm. And you're the only one laughing. Okay. And you're the only one saying derogatory comments. Like you're mad. No. Please don't, I don't mean to sound negative, oh. and I don't know if I can say this, but. What you gonna say? Like, it's like you guys are kind of trying to, like, feed me. Like. No, I'm just trying to show you a video that you no longer want to watch because you probably don't want to know the outcome of how <laughs> and what you said. Yes. Well, I know what. You know, you know what's on that video now? No. You remember making that video? No. Oh. Why don't you remember making the video? Probably because we had been drinking. Because you were drinking. Because you were drunk. Miss, I had two, maybe three glasses of wine, but I don't get drunk. As I went upstairs and just you because you're us, drunk doesn't you mean that you. Times that you
you were not drunk. You said that you had your wits <coughs> about you. You said he had his wits about you. Mm -hmm. You said that you don't like not having your wits. In my experience, if somebody cannot remember doing something to the extent of making two videos and a video and taking a photo, they are intoxicated. Okay. I understand where you all are coming from. Well, we're I just get trying it. to make sense of it. We're trying I get to figure it. out we're what you're saying. We're trying to figure out this video. You explain it to us. We're listening. I <coughs> just did. Like, we were playing, <laughs> and then, like, I thought it was, my plan was not to go upstairs and go to sleep. My plan was not to, he'll be up here any minute. But, but you will. Dude, I, honestly, Sarah would have been better off saying that she was wasted, blackout drunk from the beginning and didn't remember anything. Went upstairs and went to sleep. No one forced you to go upstairs and get My plan wasn't bed. also to leave him in the suitcase. So why didn't you take him out? Because I went upstairs and then I fell asleep. But why didn't you consciously think he's asking to come out? He I didn't do it intentionally. Oh. What do you think is going to happen? I didn't do it intentionally. A confined space like that. Well, I thought by not zipping it up all the way, it would be okay. My plan was not to leave him in the suitcase. What was your plan? Waiting for him to come upstairs. And you then said, when he did it? I fell asleep. You said you were up there 30 minutes. After 30 minutes, somebody not coming up. I Knowing that you that the last time you saw him was in the suitcase, 30 minutes later, you're like, hmm, maybe I should go check on him. Maybe I shouldn't. No. Well, you didn't, that didn't cross your mind because that's it like didn't an, That's like an assumption. Like, that's what you all are thinking. Just We're asking. It's the whole... You tell us. It's the drinking. Oh. A new that's person to blame? Is. A new thing to blame? It's the drinking. I thought it was, like... I thought he was okay. Like I didn't. That you he's all. He's telling you he's not. He's telling you, Sarah. I, I can't breathe. He's saying your name, and you're like, "That's my name. Don't wear it out." Guys, that's how we are with each other. Like he <laughs> that, is, that's just how we are. Nobody understands our relationship. Oh it's, my god. Okay, hold on. Let's see. You know what? Let's give it a little. Let's give it a little kick forward. Oh. That came up to me in that apartment complex said that you were drunk on a daily basis. <laughs> Oh my God. Right. Regularly. Right. No. no. Really? Right. No. Talk to the property no. manager. Talk to the property manager. Okay. Because it's not. These are your neighbors, the ones that live next to you. Your property manager does not live next to you. They see you every day. How many? Oh you had gosh. two neighbors you went to and asked to go to the restaurant. These are just not said, fair. No, hold on. Exactly. You had two different neighbors that lived directly next to you. You asked to use a restroom and they told you no and turned you away. You had to go oh. across the way to somebody oh. else. Because they know she's okay. a mess. Kim and Eli. Eli, or Kim oh. is not a nice person. Oh, she, oh, I was about to say, she ready to throw Kim and Eli under the bus. Okay. <laughs> she's just automatically not nice. Even right. after me and Lucas went she's over there so and nice. herself, she's just not a nice person. <laughs> then why would you think she would let you use a restroom? Because Eli was in there. Let me be clear. Everyone except me is a bitch. I know I said I didn't want anything to drink before. You said ginger ale or something. Give me a beer and I'll talk because I can't take this right now, okay? And also, I'm getting aggressive because we drank a lot last night and now I need a beer to calm myself down. So if you don't get me one, then I'm not gonna be able to talk to you rationally. I'm getting so upset and defensive right now because I just need- He comes over and talks to us sometimes, which I think pisses Kim off because okay. he comes over and talks to us. The two of them, they're like super standoffish all the time. <laughs> My neighbors down the street, down the way, their toilet was broken. They had stuff in the bathroom. You, don't you have a bathroom? So then they're bathroom. like, go over there and try over there. There's two bathrooms. So I wouldn't let somebody bathrooms? go upstairs and use my, my personal bathroom. That's what really? the downstairs one is for. If it's somebody you like, would you? I, or somebody you know? They're in the process of doing all this stuff in the kitchen. If it's somebody you like, wouldn't you? I get it. Look, I get it. That looks really bad. <laughs> so that's what scares me. Like, what do I need to plan on? Like, what do I need to plan on? I promise you. Oh my God, she's- On my son's life. I, I will say this, Sarah, Sarah Boone is an idiot, okay? But she is very manipulative. I promise you, on Lucas's life, it was not intentional. <laughs> on Lucas's life, I don't know. because I'm willing, because I'm willing to put my son's life on the line for you to believe me. <laughs> like, oh my God. You. I can't say I know anything about you. I don't know what is, what would be a true statement, what would not. I mean, if you're promising on your son's life, that's fine. That's how much it means. Sorry. That's how, much it, look, that's how much it means. 
I hope you take that to heart. Please. Uh, it's documented that you said that, yeah. I get it. <laughs> it's documented that you said <laughs> Do you have any idea when I can get my phone back? So I can delete that and act like it doesn't exist? What do you say? I just said no tell them. I mean, it, our digital forensics unit has uh, got a lot of cases on their plate. I mean, well, and that's not technically my on. laptop. It's Lucas's laptop. Okay. But he plays. You'll see all the games that he has on there. As soon as we can get that back to Lucas, we will. As soon as we can release your phone, we will. But it doesn't. Mm -mm. We have no way. All right, let's tell you let's we come on. Let's swab them hands. Are you trying to make it worse? Sorry, what? Are you trying to make it worse? Make what worse? <laughs> How I feel? Uh, just making, just making CSI. Hey, hold on. Did you guys just hear that one? Are you trying to make it worse? Sorry, what? Are you trying to make it worse? Make what worse? How I feel. Are you trying to make how I feel worse right now? Sir, I'm the victim here. So I'm just gonna take a swab and go around on one hand and then do the separate one for your other hand. Okay. <laughs> Someone said, how dare you prove my guilt with the video that I recorded last night that was on my cell phone that I handed over to you? How dare you? What, are you trying to make me feel bad for what I did? Oh my god. That's another thing too. They'll do something wrong and then and then try to accuse you of blaming them for bringing up the thing that they did wrong. The the guilt that you feel is not because I brought it up. It's cuz you did something bad. <laughs> Everything we've talked about today? Yes. What do you mean? I I, I he has to swear. Remember how I swore you yesterday on the on the audio recording? I just forgot. So he raised his hand to remind me to tell you. Okay. Do you promise and swear that everything we talked about today has been true and accurate to the best of your knowledge? Mm-hmm. For which true everything. and accurate to the best of oh, your knowledge? Oh, they about to, she knows they about what to take her in. Everything, everything you've said you today, everything that's come out of your mouth has been true and accurate to the best of your knowledge. To the best of my knowledge. Correct. Yes. Yeah. Why? Mm-hmm. <laughs> <That's laughs> why? <laughs> to assure that everything that we've talked about is true and accurate. Do you guys think that Sarah thinks that she's going home today? I think she does. I think she thinks despite the video, she's going to have time to get home, hit the bottle, and figure it out. To the best of that person's knowledge. knowledge. It's not a trick question. Yep. To the best of my knowledge. To the best of your knowledge. Everything that you've told us today is true and accurate to the best of your knowledge. Yes, but it was not intentional. Okay. Okay. All right, do me a favor, stand up. Nope. <coughs> I need you to turn around, face the wall. Get on up. <laughs> sorry, guys. I'm sorry. You, know you don't have to be here. I apologize. Why is this happening? <laughs> because George is dead. Oh, thank you. Thank you. That Not intentionally. We understand that. He's still dead. Well, we don't Someone really needs understand to that. call Brian, please. Okay. Or can I not make a phone call? Her ex-husband. Her ex-husband literally divorced her and she's still bothering him years later. And we get you down to the jail. So why is this happening? So this was a trick. We just no, told no, you. No, that was a trick. So, so I came in here to ask you to explain a few things to us. Uh-huh. You were read your rights. Your response to everything was... Poor. Basically, I didn't do it. <laughs> Intentionally. Intentionally? No, no, dude, not the intentionally. All right, well, the Sarah Boone trial is supposed to start in early April. Like I said, she's fired her last four, four? Yeah, attorneys. We'll see if they, if they make it through. I don't know.